Just say, go ahead. Um, so how did Uncle Mo look when he got off the van? Seemed to uh, ship in really well. Everything went smoothly. Uh, you know, I'm glad we waited the day and let the weather clear up. And uh, you know, we had an uneventful trip. So should be. Uh, what are the plans leading up to the race on Saturday? Uh, he'll just have some routine gallops here at Belmont on Thursday and Friday, and then ship over to Aqueduct. Uh, you know, for the race. I think it's good. You know, I mean, uh, you know, we're not too worried about post positions or anything like that. Just uh, you know, we'll see how it shapes up and kind of some running styles of the other horses and come up with a strategy at that point. It's been a couple of one to two shots in this race the last couple of years and one convincing you to be one of them last year. I won't revenge you before. Is there any more pressure when it's your one to two, one to nine? I think, you know, in Uncle Mo's position, you know, anytime we run him, there's going to be very high expectations and that's just, you know, part of the deal when you when you run a horse like that. How does Clark Miles explain something? You know, he's never given me uh, any concern about distance limitations in any of his races or any of his training. So, yeah, I mean, we're looking forward to it. And, you know, we wanted a, a mile and an eighth prep before the Derby. So it's one of the reasons why we chose the wood a while ago.